Happy sunshine, boys and girls. On my channel comments, uh, somebody found something from the desk of HEHRH -H, Royal Prime Minister Ernest Rothschild, the United States of North America, the Republic of North America. And, and Diana found it and was wondering what it means. And so we go here at SlideShare. This is a document royal family asset settlements i can tell from this thumbnail that it's from the 20th of august of this year so eight days ago so we click on this and we're going to blow this up full screen for everyone out there following along i don't know if this is a bona fide document if this is valid where it comes from i don't have a way to vet this yet but it's out on the line or it's out online and you guys can go check it out yourselves um, I'll leave the link down below uh, <laughs> this is mind-blowing guys when we get into it from the desk of HE HRH Royal Prime Minister Ernest Rothschild the United States of North America, the Republic of North America, and Chairman of the Royal Imperial Federal Reserve System. Wow. In reference to ICJ slash ICC asset settlements. And this document is addressed to all keepers of the royal assets. <clears throat> The royal assets is uh, every every first letter of those words is capitalized. So this is this is a very proper term, the royal assets and all keepers. Very interesting. Peace be upon you all. This is an update from the perspective of the ancient royal families, A.K.A. the royals of the current serious world events, especially those unfolding in the Middle East and in the BRICS countries. Discussed are the real issues that are manifesting on the ground as well as the concerns of the royals regarding the behavior of the global community towards the royal assets and concerns over their keepership in general. So let us start with a bit of history as an introduction. Who are the royals? The ancient royal families, not to be confused with the kings and queens of the current day or the dragon one or the dragons ones hears about, are hardly mentioned in the news and that is how it is supposed to be. The royals for millennia have been looking after the planet, its treasures, its land and occupants under the covenant known as mandate from heaven, quote unquote. They are answerable to the galactic councils. The royals own the title deeds of all of the lands and are the ones who own the title of the quote-unquote public land. All the remaining land as being under fair use keeping quote-unquote and are backers of all currencies in the system. As stewards of the planet, they sublet the land to implementers, quote-unquote, who look after the running of the land for the benefit of its upkeep <clears throat> and that of their occupants. Sometimes other ancient families become implementers, and if implementers use force and coercion, then they are termed as dragons. For example, Queen Elizabeth II is an, is an implementer and not part of the royals, so this should not be a matter of confusion. Sometimes they are given to groups or parties to form governments and therefore use their central banks to manage some aspects of the interference between the royals and implementers. In recent history, the Committee of 300 was used for this interface, but now this organization is no longer in operation and a new one is in the process of being set up. What are keepers? All of those working on behalf of the royals as implementers are also called keepers. Keepers have the obligation of 
the upkeep of the assets under their remit, including looking after earth, heaven, natural resources, water, and air, as well as the living beings therein and the people who are benefiting. They are also responsible for the safety of the treasures stored in the land and are not to touch them or handle them without explicit consent. Part of these treasures are those held for the future of humanity and others are brought from outside of the planet for safekeeping on behalf of the different galactic councils. So, quote unquote, governments are keepers looking after the land called countries and their people on behalf of the royals. For the royals to manage these countries, then corporations, with the same name as the countries, are used to manage the accountability of such keeperships, and their central banks are then associated with these corporations and their accountability. And isn't it interesting, the address here, 1701 Pennsylvania Avenue, Suite 400, Washington, D.C.? I mean, this is, this is right by the White House, guys. What are global agreements? As long as the keepers are looking after peop the people and all the assets under their keepership, the royals normally let the keepers be with 70 year global agreements, mandates used to manage the keepership programs. The last 70 year agreement made with the royals was in Bretton Woods Conference in 1944. This agreement included the agreement on release of funds into the system and the major global development programs to uplift the developing countries into a better state of being. This agreement ended 70 years on during 2014 with a temporary extension taking place, having the last funds made available as of middle of October 2015 after which all global accounts were returned back to the Royals. As of the beginning of January 2016, no new agreements have been made and no new releases have been affected. The new, <clears throat> a new agreement is currently being put forward called, quote unquote, the Global Peace Treaty, details of which are being finalized before being presented to the global community. What are keepership violations? During the latter part of the Bret Bretton Woods Agreement years and ever since its ending, there have been a worrying trend of violations and offenses that have taken place against the global assets and the keepership system as a whole. But before going into these violations, let us look into the different types of offenses that the royals are noticing which are of concern. <clears throat> Type 1 offenses are those who directly, aggressively come against the royals and or assets. The remedy is complete removal of the aggressors and the forfeiting of their keepership, as well as the removal of all others that have provided material logistic support to them. Type 2. Offenses are those that have been mishandled royal... Excuse me. Type 2 offenses are those that have mishandled royal assets like exposing the assets without explicit authorization, the remedy is the forfeiting of their keepership, as well as all others that aided and abetted in these crimes. Type three offenses are those that have neglected their keepership role, like neglecting the defensive assets and or not providing enough logistical support for their upkeep. The remedy is the forfeiting of their keepership and the restoring and restoring the damage cause. It is clear from the above that the royals regard the upkeep of keepership as an important part of the global system and view with seriousness any violation committed by the keepers. What violations are or about to take place? There are a string of violations that have or about to take about to be taking place for which a stringent warning is now given with associated cease and desist and imminent declaration of loss of keepership. There are currently gathering forces attacking ancient royal assets in both Syria and Iraq, as well as others waiting in the wings in readiness to join in the attacks. The royals view these attacks and these gatherings 
as directly coming against the royal assets and therefore are type 1 offenses and violation of keepership. All parties are hereby warned are to cease and desist and are now given imminent declaration of loss of keepership. All parties are to return back from whence they came and to stop the attacks immediately. All countries, intelligence agencies, military, families, and other organizations who are involved in these violations are to stop immediately and go back. A declaration of loss of keepership, including enforcement action, will immediately follow if even one foot is placed into any of these two countries by the participating parties. Furthermore, all countries that harbor or support such groups or are not in control of their internal keeps to stop these groups from freely operating within their regions will have committed type 3 offenses and violation of keepership. Similar warning and actions are acted upon them. No further warnings will be given. Furthermore, there are currently royal assets being exposed for either sale, theft, or placed as guarantees in the financial system. None of these sales or guarantees are authorized by the royals or have the blessings of the royals. If in doubt, then please contact myself or the relevant authorities to validate these transactions. The royals regard these illegal activities as type 2 offenses and violation of keepership. This includes, but not limited to, the BRICS Bank, which has illegally used the guarantees of royal assets without explicit authorization. All parties are hereby warned, are to cease and desist, and are given now immediate declaration of loss of keepership. All parties are to return back all the assets and guarantees to stop the violations immediately. All countries, intelligence agencies, military, family, and other organizations who are involved in these violations are to stop immediately and restore the assets. A declaration of loss of keepership, including enforcement action, will immediately follow if further violations have taken place by participating parties. No further warnings will be given. Furthermore, there are currently authentic and tangible reports of planet Earth shortly to go through an extended period of severe space weather events affecting the lives and livelihood of everyone on the planet, as well severe disruptions to the normal way of life. The setup of contingencies for the general population and contingencies for all of the royal assets are hereby expected to take place by all keepers. All keepers are to report back to the royals their preparation plans for the overcoming of such events. The lack of reporting or contingency or the disruption to smooth running of services under their keepership will be regarded as type 3 offenses and violation of keepership. A declaration of loss of keepership including enforcement action will immediately follow if violations are found to have taken place. No further warnings will be given. Furthermore, there are currently authentic and tangible reports that royal assets under the keep of the Vatican is reportedly under threat of attack by other groups as a way of settling internal scores. The royals view these potential attacks as disturbing. These attacks will be regarded as directly coming against royal assets and therefore are type 1 offenses and violation of keepership. All parties are hereby warned, are to cease and desist, and are given now immediate declaration of loss of keepership. All parties are to cancel their plans of attack immediately and to start negotiating to resolve the issues between themselves. The use of prohibited weapons will not be tolerated. The royals are not interested in being absorbed into mediating such issues between keepers. All countries, intelligence agencies, military, Families and other organizations who are involved in these violations are to stop immediately. A declaration of loss of keepership, including enforcement action, will immediately follow if even one royal asset is negatively affected by the participating parties. No further warnings will be given. Furthermore, there are occasions when reports circulate of some keepers preparing to use weapons of mass destruction, WMD, in their conflicts to be in control of the situation. 
The use of WMD on their own regions or against the keepership of others are by necessity type 1 offenses and violation of keepership. All parties are hereby warned are to cease and desist and are given now imminent declaration of loss of keepership. All parties are to cancel their plans of weapons of mass destruction attack immediately and to start negotiating to resolve the issue between themselves. All countries, intelligence agencies, military, families, and other organizations who are involved in these violations are to stop immediately. A declaration of loss of keepership, including enforcement action, will immediately follow if even one royal asset is negatively affected by participating parties. No further warnings will be given. What are the next steps? These due warnings are hereby given and is expected that such warnings are heeded by all keepers. Failure to heed such warnings and if found that the violation has taken place, then the royals reserve the full right to take any remedial enforcement actions necessary against the individual keeper and all those who are supporting them. These matters are viewed with seriousness by the royals so should similarly be done by all keepers. All keepers are aware of their keepership responsibilities and therefore these warnings are not conditional on the individual keeper receiving such warnings. For this document is just a reinforcement and reminder of the responsibilities and consequences of violating the keepership agreement. Accordingly, this shall serve as legal notice to all keepers that the royal families directed that all asset settlements shall be processed and sanctioned by the Royal Imperial Sovereign International Court of Justice, ICJ, the Royal Imperial International Criminal Court, ICC, the Royal Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System and the Royal Sovereign Government of the United States of North America, the Republic of North America. Therefore, all keepers are hereby instructed to process all assets and accounts under their guardianship for settlement by and through the Royal Imperial International Court of Justice. There shall be no other entity nor governmental agency sanctioned nor licensed to receive nor redeem global assets and collateral accounts without the sanctioned authority of the Royal Imperial Sovereign International Court of Justice. The ICJ licensed sovereign royal judges shall have full authority over all global assets and collateral accounts. Further, all keepers of assets and collateral accounts are just that, keepers, not owners, nor do they have the power, authority, and jurisdiction to sell assets, negotiate, nor dictate settlements. The ICJ have original and exclusive jurisdiction over all settlements of royal families assets and collateral accounts. Failure to adhere to such original and exclusive jurisdiction shall be subject to criminal prosecution before the ICC. If any keeper has queries regarding the above, then please contact the royals or myself to discuss the said concerns. Sincerely, Ernest Rothschild, Royal Prime Minister, 8216 to 8217, the United States of North America, the Republic of North America, the Family of Nations, Carbon Copy, the Royal Imperial Sovereign International Court of Justice, the Royal Board of Governors, Federal Reserve System. And then there's quite a bunch of stamps on here. One of them is the United Nations stamp with the azimuthal equidistant map. Wow, guys. Uh, uh, I really don't have any comments to say what this is one way or the other. I've got my suspicions, but I'm going to leave this right now as an unvetted, unverified document that I found on the internet because somebody clued me in to the fact that it was there. It's dated August 20th and purportedly from Prime Minister Ernest Rothschild. So if you got any love, light, or links in this matter, if you can clear this up, if you've got another puzzle piece that connects in with this one, if you've got anything to say about this at all, 
I'm interested to hear from you. Lunacy at protonmail.com. L-U-N-A-S-E-E -E at protonmail.com. Well, today's a pretty big day. I wonder what's going to happen next. Keep a high vibration, family. I love you lots, and we'll see you in the next one.